You know, we've talked about one of the most pleasant surprise movies for me over the last couple of years is it's out there right now, Puss in Boots. What is it called? The Last Wish? Mm-hmm. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I was not a huge fan of the, the first Puss in Boots. I like the character in the Shrek films. Um, and I'm not a cat guy. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't yeah. know that. No, no. Many, many American homes on the internet knew that are all. infested with the vermin known as cats. However, that being said, I-, I was taken with the trailers and I loved the movie. And without going into any details, something that happens in the movie, it has reignited the conversations of the Shrek universe, right? Even going so far as to say the studio CEO the other day made the comment that Puss in Boots is our re-entry point into the Shrek universe telling us that they've got plans for the future. Well, one person who seems to love the idea of a return of Shrek is Eddie Murphy. (laughs) Eddie Murphy has come out and he has said straight up, I would love to come back for another Shrek. And I want a donkey spinoff movie because according to Eddie Murphy, donkey is way funnier than Puss in Boots. Uh, This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. Eddie Murphy is more than ready to reprise donkey in a fifth Shrek movie or a donkey-centric spinoff. So far, only Antonio Banderas' Puss in Boots has gotten a Shrek spinoff treatment with 2011's Puss in Boots and 2022's Puss in Boots' Last Wish. According to Murphy, Donkey Donkey is far funnier and more worthy of a spinoff than Puss. Eddie Murphy said the following, I'd absolutely be open if they ever came with another Shrek. I'd do it in two seconds. I love Donkey, Murphy said to E-Talk in a recent interview. You know... They did the Puss in Boots movies. I was like, they should have done a donkey movie. Donkey is funnier than Puss in Boots. I mean, I love Puss in Boots, but he ain't as funny as the donkey. So uh, if if I don't say so myself, Eddie Murphy thinks his character is better than the other characters. Okay, let's put that aside for a second. I love the fact that Eddie Murphy's like, especially considering with the resurgence that Murphy's had in his career, of course, his new movie, uh, what is it called? You You People. Is that on and watched it last night? While I watched I was it too. I rewatched. I, I after watching The Last of Us. While Anne was doing that, I then watched To Leslie, and then I decided to step even later and watch The Last of Us again, <laughs> and then didn't work. So I didn't watch it. But Eddie Murphy's had a research and see him say, "I are you kidding? Tell, give me a call. You got you got another Shrek on the go. I'm there. I'll do it." So I love that. And I love Eddie Murphy as Donkey. Love him as Donkey. That being said, I will actually disagree with him that not that Donkey isn't a funnier character than Puss in Boots, because I think he's right about that. I don't think a Donkey spinoff movie is as good of an idea as a Puss in Boots spinoff movie, simply because I think the power of that character, Donkey, where he really, really shines, is as a supporting character. Like Shrek is not Shrek without Donkey. I mean, it's just it's just not nearly as good without Donkey. But Shrek is a great lead character. Donkey is a great sidekick character. And I think that's what brings the best out of Donkey. I don't know if Donkey was... I think we might get a little tired of Donkey if, it, if Donkey was the lead main spotlight character. Whereas when you have him in a supporting role character, he accentuates... That character accentuates and lifts up the material and really, really shines in that supporting world. Whereas with Puss in Boots, Puss in Boots, you can build something around him. I don't think Puss in Boots is as good of a site as supporting character as Donkey is. But either way, I would love to see Donkey return, whether it's in a Shrek film or in another, the Shrek universe. And I love the fact that Eddie Murphy's down for doing this. Anyway, Chris, (laughs) you heard, you're hearing uh, Eddie Murphy's comments. What do you think about him saying, we've been talking about the studio saying we want to re-enter the Shrek universe. Now we've got Eddie Murphy saying he's all for coming back. What do you think about that? And what do you think about his comments that maybe Donkey should have his own spinoff? I mean, I want them to do all the DreamWorks projects. I've auditioned for DreamWorks so many times. I want them to do everything and do all the things. Um, I love the idea of this happening. Um, at the end of Puss in Boots, spoilers, there is kind of a moment that is the the reawakening of the Shrekverse, if you will, coming back to that land. So I think there's absolutely room for this. I'd love to see how he's doing with his dragon wife and their little babies. I think that'd be precious. I think the biggest takeaway here, though, is that Taylor Gonzalez makes things happen he wishes that it comes true i'm here for it rob you hear about this i mean obviously we love hearing eddie because we love eddie murphy but 
what do you think about his you know proposition that maybe donkey should have a spinoff well first of all i, I echo what chris just said i thought taylor was going to be in the hospital this morning <laughs> uh, honestly. But, but no you know there's a, a movie that's up for i think it's up for best foreign or best international film at the academy awards this year called eo that's actually about a donkey right yes. and i heard the the director who directed is like 80 years old like this 80 year old 80 year old polish director i heard him on npr speaking and i was I actually thought about Donkey when I was listening to him talk. I'm like, you know, I wonder if they could, because the things that he was saying about animals, I'm like, you could do it. So I, 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 it just made me think about Donkey. So the fact that this story came out, I was like, no way. I'm like, Eddie Murphy probably heard the same thing on NPR that I heard because donkeys seem to be in the zeitgeist. I don't know. But I think, look, I think this could be great, again, depending on, it has to be a great script and it has to be a great story. But I could see what is the origin of this character? Like, where did he come from? You know, how did he come to be with Shrek? And 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 who is this character? And if it's well written with Eddie Murphy, dude, I watched you people. Uh, between Dolomite is my name, coming to America too was hugely disappointing. But Dolomite is my name, and his performance in You People, and I can't wait to see Beverly Hills Cop four. I mean, Eddie Murphy could cr crush this, depending if it was good or not. And if they're going to reboot the Shrek universe, I mean, how great would that be? I mean, everybody loves Shrek. Not as much as someone in this room, but everybody <laughs> loves the Shrek franchise. And I, I really think that, you know, with these actors, there's with this nostalgia with Tom Cruise doing Top Gun Maverick, why not everybody should cash in? And if, if they have a great script, I mean, like you said, the first Puss in Boots movie, eh, I saw Last Wish. I loved it. I, yeah, it I, loved, really I loved it more than I thought I was going to love it. And I'm like, this was Antonio Banderas crushed it. And all the all the other storybooks, the Goldilocks, the Three Bears, it was great. Um, but I, I would love to see it. You know what? I'll, I'll say this too. We haven't talked, and I'm guilty of this. So I haven't talked about it either. You know, the more I think about it, when you look in the tradition, like of all animation, like the great villains of animation, Jafar, Ursula, you know, all these things. You know what? That wolf in, in Puss in Boots is I really think one of the truly great. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say he's the. I'm not gonna say he's Scar. I'm not gonna say whatever. But no, but he's so truly well one of the great mm -hmm. animated villains. Yes, he yes. Because like he when he would pop up, like I literally got chills. Like I I would feel that's. I mean, I was really really great. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Eddie Murphy is saying, "Hey, you give me a call. You want another Shrek? I'm there." What do you think about that? And his assertion that. A donkey spinoff movie would be better than Puss in Boots. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thought. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save money this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. Guys, I have told you before that when I was on one of the major phone carriers, I was spending literally three times as much every month and switching to Mint Mobile couldn't have been easier. So for people just looking to save some extra money this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in just minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia.